Mixing and splitting streams are essential in chemical engineering. In this tutorial, we'll use Aspen Hisis to solve a real examples with mixers, tees, and a component splitter, step by step. Hi there, I'm Dr. Munir, a chemical engineering professor. I love helping students, researchers, and engineers simplify complex simulations with Aspen Hisis and AI tools. If you're new here, Welcome to the channel Prof Talks AI and Engineering. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. A mixer combines two or more input streams into one homogeneous outlet stream. The outlet temperature and composition depend on mass and energy balances, plus the property package selected. A T is a simple device that splits one stream into two or more outlet streams based on specified flow ratios. A component splitter is different. It separates individual components according to split fractions without performing a full separation calculation like a distillation column. First, let's mix 100 kg per hour of water at 35 degrees Celsius with 200 kg per hour of ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius, both at one atmospheric pressure and then split the outlet stream in a 90.10 ratio. Let's walk through the solution step by step. First, create a new case. Next, add the components, water and ethanol. Now select the property package. Here we'll use the non-random two liquid model or NRTL. Then enter simulation mode. From the model palette, add a mixer and a T. Double-click on the mixer and name it Mixer. Create two inlet streams, the first called water and the second ethanol. Name the outlet stream mixture. Next, double-click on the T, name it Split and set its inlet stream as mixture coming from the mixer. Create two outlet streams and name them 90% and 10%. Now, let's add the stream data. For the water stream, set the temperature to 35 degrees Celsius. The pressure to one atmosphere and the mass flow rate to 100 kilograms per hour. With a composition fraction of 1 since it's pure water. For the ethanol stream, set the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. The pressure to 1 atmosphere and the mass flow rate to 200 kilograms per hour. Again, with a composition fraction of 1 since it's pure ethanol. To specify the 90 to 10 split ratio, click on the T, go to parameters, and set the flow ratio to 0.9 for the 90% stream. Now the flow sheet is complete. Finally, let's record the results the outlet temperature and the mass heat capacity, CP, and with that, this example is completed. Example 2. Mix water at 30 degrees Celsius with a flow rate of 10 kilograms per second and ethanol at 20 degrees Celsius with the same flow rate, both at one atmosphere. The outlet stream is then split in a 0.3 to 0.7 ratio. Use the NRTL fluid package and study how changes in ethanol flow affect the outlet composition. For this example, begin by adding water and ethanol as components from the component list. Next, select the NRTL fluid package for this simulation and then enter the simulation environment to build the flow sheet. From the model palette, add a mixer and a T. Double click on the mixer, name it Mixer. And create two inlet streams named water and ethanol.
Add one outlet stream and name it Mixture. Then double click on the T, name it Split. Assign the Mixture stream as its inlet. And define two outlet streams, 70% and 30%. At this stage, the flow sheet connections are complete. Now enter the stream data. For the water stream, set the temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. The pressure to one atmosphere. And the mass flow rate to 10 kilograms per second with a composition fraction of one since it is pure water. For the ethanol stream, set the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. The pressure to one atmosphere and the mass flow rate to 10 kilograms per second. Again with a composition fraction of one since it is pure ethanol. To specify the 70 to 30 split ratio, open the T parameters and set the flow ratio to 0.7 for the 70% stream. Now, let's study the effect of ethanol flow on the outlet composition. Open case studies and define the independent and dependent variables. In this case, the ethanol stream mass flow rate is the independent variable and the ethanol mass fraction in the mixture stream is the dependent variable. For the independent variable, click Find Variables. Select the ethanol stream and choose its mass flow rate from the list. For the dependent variable, click Find Variables. Select the mixture stream and choose the ethanol mass fraction. In the Case Study tab, change the units from kilograms per hour to kilograms per second. Set the start value to 0 kilograms per second. The end value to 50 kilograms per second. And the step size to 5 kilograms per second. Run the case study and review the results in both tabular and graphical form. In the plot, the x-axis represents ethanol mass flow rate, while the y-axis shows the ethanol mass fraction in the mixture stream, which increases as the ethanol flow increases. And with that analysis, this example is completed. Example 3. A natural gas feed of 500 million standard cubic feet per day at 50 degrees Celsius and 1 bar contains 80% methane, 10% ethane, 4% carbon dioxide, 4% hydrogen sulfide, and 2% nitrogen. We will use a component splitter to remove the carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, assuming negligible pressure drop and no change in temperature. Let's walk through the solution step by step. First, add the components. Methane, ethane, carbon dioxide, 
hydrogen sulfide, and nitrogen. Now, select the property package. For this system, we'll use the Peng Robinson model. Next, enter the simulation environment. From the model palette, insert a component splitter. Double click on it and name it splitter. Create one inlet stream for the feed gas. Then define two outlet streams. Name the overhead outlet impurities and the bottom outlet refined gas. Now let's add the stream data. For the feed gas stream, set the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius, the pressure to one bar, and the volumetric flow rate to 500 million standard cubic feet per day. Enter the composition as 80% methane, 10% ethane, 4% carbon dioxide, 4% hydrogen sulfide, and 2% nitrogen. After this, open the component splitter again and go to the worksheet tab. Enter 50 degrees Celsius for both outlet streams since the temperature remains constant and one bar pressure for the impurity stream because the pressure drop is negligible. Inside the component splitter design tab under splits, set the feed fraction to products as one for carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and zero for all other components. Finally, let's record the results. In the outlet conditions, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide exit with the impurities stream, while methane, ethane, and nitrogen remain in the refined gas stream. And with that, this example is completed. Let's quickly summarize what we covered. In example one, we mixed water and ethanol using a mixer and split the outlet stream with a T, calculating the outlet temperature and heat capacity. In example two, we again mixed water and ethanol and studied how varying the ethanol flow rate affected the outlet composition. In example three, we simulated a natural gas stream with methane, ethane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and nitrogen. Using a component splitter, we removed CO2 and H2S to obtain refined natural gas. These three cases demonstrate how simple Aspen Hysis, blocks like mixers, teas, and splitters, can model practical engineering processes. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Munir, and I'll continue bringing you tutorials on Aspen Hysis, chemical engineering, and AI tools for smarter learning. If you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe to Prof Talks AI and Engineering, and share it with others. See you in the next video.